And so in this uh, short training, I just wanted to talk to you about negative bridging and positive statements. And so I had a question in a session the other day about why we talk about the negative. And of course, there's a lot of uh, spiritual teachings which say that we should be positive and that we want to focus on those positive areas and away from the negative. So, but it's different with tapping. So when we're talking about negative bridging and positive rounds, we're actually just talking about the truth. So when you're voicing the truth and it is negative, then we want to clear it. So that's the great thing about tapping is that it does have the effect of clearing when you're voicing the truth, even if it is negative or it sounds negative, because the truth is that there's a part of you that actually does feel that way. And that's why it feels so good to voice it. And when we're tapping whilst we're voicing it, we're actually clearing it from our system. And of course, that's when we can start to layer in some bridging rounds. And one of those rounds might sound like I'm open to the possibility. And I've even gone so far in my own tapping and with clients to say, I'm open to the possibility of being open to the possibility and putting whatever your statement is there because we are retraining your brain and your subconscious system to accept what you now want. And so as we tap through those open to the possibility type bridging rounds, then we introduce into the system a new way of thinking. And because we're tapping, it becomes easy for your system to accept it. And then when we can then move into a positive round, we're actually talking about what we want and what we desire. And it's like programming a computer. We're going to put it in words and into your nervous system in a way that it can fully accept it. And as soon as it fully accepts it, it makes creating a breeze. It makes manifesting a breeze. When your nervous system fully accepts what you want, then it's almost like magic that you can just pluck it out of the universe and manifest it. And so this is why I called this practical magic. Tapping really is in the way that I use it with the chakra system, with the nervous system and getting the subconscious on board. It really is practical magic. And so I'm so happy that you're joining me in that magic. And I'll talk to you on the next training.